Hi, Gemini. Welcome to your tarot forecast for January. This is Mary, Miss Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So, Gemini, we're going to take a look at the energy around you at this time. So it may be about love. It may not, may not be. So whatever comes out, we're just going to take the energy as it comes. So if you are interested in a love reading, I do offer a love connection reading on my channel and I also offer a singles reading who's coming towards you and I also do a spirit messages or an angel reading I switch it up so I do that type of reading also along with an element weekly energy reading which I just started so if you're interested in all that you can subscribe and hit the bell and you won't miss out and if you do thank you so much so Gemini I hope everybody's doing well welcome welcome happy holidays Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. So the first thing I'm going to do here, Gemini, is pull a card from the Zodiac Oracle, we'll get a sign element planet, and we'll see what comes out. If you don't resonate with what comes out here, totally fine. Rest of the reading may be for you. We're going to look at your current energy and clarify it with tarot, and then we'll get some closing messages with the um, Gateway Oracle over here. All the decks are listed below if you're interested in what decks I'm using. I'm pulling that one already. Already, Gemini. Let's see. What do we have? Pisces. Some of you could have a Pisces around you in some way, shape, or form. You could have Pisces heavily in your chart. <coughs> Sorry. If not, that's totally fine. Wow. Okay. So Pisces does represent the moon in the tarot, which can be about secrets coming to light. It can be about in, in, um, intuition. Yeah. <laughs> It can also be about uh, feminine energy, um, a lot of different energy with the moon. So we'll see if that means anything or not. So let's get an opening message from you, Gemini, an opening message for you. And then we'll pull another one for your energy, go over the bottom of the deck, and then we'll uh, clarify with the whole spread here with the tarot. Decks are listed below. I think I might have said that. I don't know. Uh, decks are listed below if you're interested in that. Your playlists are listed below. I do consider all my readings timeless, even though um, this is labeled for January. You can go back and watch past readings. So your playlists are below. Uh, social media, I do readings on Instagram. Uh, how to reach out for personal reading, tons of stuff down there. So feel free to go check that out. All right, and if you do, thank you. Gemini, okay, let's get an opening message for Gemini. That one stayed in my hand, so... And we have the fates, 17, which is eight. So eight is about taking action, movement, travel, communication. So this is in the star there. So there's something here fated and destined for you. You may not see it coming yet. Or you may be working on something that's fated and destined for you. But something is destined in your path here. So we're going to see what's going on. Something, you may be a hope, a wish, a dream uh, you're going for. But if that's the case, whatever you're going for, it is fated for you. Or, like I said, there's something divinely coming for you that you may not be seeing. So, let's see what your energy is. Message in a bottle. Exactly. I just got this for Sagittarius. 15 is 6. is very healing, balancing number. You may have a message coming in. Communication coming in that may shock or surprise you. And it's something definitely here faded and meant to be. Hmm. So, we'll see what this is about. It could be about love. It could be about career. It could be anything here. So we have between worlds here, which is three. So you may be working on something here, uh, trying to you know work on a new beginning for yourself, but you're kind of still stuck in your old way of living, your old world. So whether you're trying to move, you could be trying to move near the water or across the ocean or overseas or something like that. Maybe you feel like you're faded and you belong, you know, in another country or you know near the water or near the sea or near the ocean or whatever here. And I think there's water. Yeah, there's water in this car too. So you may be wanting to move near water. Maybe that's what you're working on. But you're like stuck right now in whatever situation you're in now till you fully can uh, transition. But there's a message here coming in. So, I mean, it may not be that. For some, it may be. For some, uh, it could be starting a new career or a new job or something like that um could be anything here new relationships so we're going to see what's going on for you Sagitta uh, sagittarius i'm sorry gemini so we do have three which is about teamwork collaboration uh learning new things and then we have six 
which is about healing, balancing energy, going to a better place. And then we have eight, which is about that action, travel, communication. So we got three, six, eight. So that's progression. And you, Gemini, are three here, and we have three there. So I feel like you're working, you're working on this. It's like a work in progress I'm getting for you. But it's something faded for you, whatever this is. So let's see what's going on with Gemini. And I noticed Pisces here is three. So we got three, three, three. Wow, you may want to look up that angel number, 333. So maybe you're collaborating with a Pisces. If you're collaborating with somebody, if it's not romantic, if it's like work or just something where it's like a collaboration of some kind, find out what sign they are. Maybe they're a Pisces. All right, so why is this energy here for Gemini? So we have, well, yeah, the Fool and the Knight of Cups. So... Wow, so taking a new risk, a new leap of faith, trusting everything will be fine, jumping right in, the Knight of Cups, taking that action forward, full of love, compassion, feeling like this is your life purpose, something you just love, love to do here, full of that uh, loving kind of energy. Something, taking action towards something and a new start that you just love, that you're just, you're just gonna fall in love, that you're just gonna love it, whatever it is for you. All right, I'm feeling a really good energy. I'm really feeling a good energy for you, Gemini. I feel like a change is coming. You're kind of stuck now, but the change, you're halfway there. I feel like you're halfway there in this transition. You're almost there. You can feel it in that loving, compassionate energy. Temperance, yep, balancing out your energy. King of Wands. The Three of Swords, wow. So, I feel like, you know, you're healing, you're balancing, um having patience in this new start feeling very fiery passionate about this go-getter kind of energy with the king of wands you know the wands energy is all about that fire that passion uh being strong courageous and brave having determination and um you know very creative kind of energy but three of swords you know this is about heartbreak something hurtful and painful kind of energy also so let's see why this energy is here. I feel like if there was something hurtful or painful that happened, if it was just in your life or in your work environment or something, I feel like you finally healed and balanced your energies out of that. You tempered yourself. You had patience in the situation. And now you're moving forward, a lot of drive, ambition. And you could be getting a message coming in from somebody who could be um, a business owner or they could be an entrepreneur or they have a creative idea and they m may want to collaborate with you. They could be a Pisces, even though they're in the King of Wands energy. Um, I don't know, let's see. The star, wow, so the fates and the star. This is divinely guided for you, Sagittarius, with the star. So I'm sorry, Gemini. I just did Sagittarius, I'm sorry. This is Gemini. So the star here, divinely guided, faith, hope, optimism, wishes and dreams coming true, healing energy. So two cards here, like temperance and the stars, almost the same kind of energy. Wow, so divinely, divinely guided energy, healing energy, having patience, balancing out your energy. All right, so let's see. Ace of Cups, so brand new beginning. I mean, this could be love. I didn't get the sense of love, but it could be for some a new beginning in love with somebody that's divinely guided, or this is a new way of life, a new... Uh, way of living, a new career, or something like that, or, you know, collaborating with somebody, and you're just like, oh my god, this is like a dream come true, you're so happy, um, just in love with life and what you're doing. Wow, so let's get a couple more to clarify this energy. So we have, yep, so we have the Knight of Swords and the Ten of Cups, so I feel like you're rushing into this with the Fool Energy and the Knight of Swords. But the Ten of Cups is total happiness, joy, fulfillment in every single way. Happy home and family. Knight of Swords rushing in kind of energy, rushing ahead, moving along very, very quickly now. I feel like once this message comes in, whether it's a new career opportunity, a new entrepreneurial idea or adventure or something or a job, whatever, whatever the, this message comes in from a very fiery, passionate person, um, it's going to move very quickly and you're going to be so... Oh, happy and 
just full, just happy and full. <laughs> wow. So, I don't know, for some people I'm getting like a new um, entrepreneurial, entrepreneur, I don't know if I'm saying it right, but a new like uh, creative start in something, a new uh, career, a new starting a new business or something like that. Whatever this pain was, I mean, it could have been <clears throat> a situation, it could have been work, family, love, it could have been anything, but I feel like you just recovered from that. And now you're getting back on your feet, moving forward. This message comes in, helps you transition from one world to another world. And it's divinely guided for you with the star, like the fates is the stars. And now you've got the star again. So this is meant, meant for you, divinely guided for you. It's going to give you the Ten of Cups, Ace of Cups. Wow. So, or maybe you're collaborating with three people. It could be a fire sign, you and a Pisces. So... Could be, I don't know. But the Knight of Swords is your energy there. So advice for you, the Seven of Swords. So that's sneaky, deceitful kind of energy or just like sneaking or getting out of a situation. And then we have the Queen of Pentacles. So I feel like here there's a situation, yeah, that you're freeing, this person is freeing themselves from toxic energy, from deceitful energy, hurtful energy, they're like they're turning their back on that and walking away and now they're much more male female doesn't matter much more stable and grounded so your advice is whatever you're starting here that's new that you're walking away from is divinely guided for you because you will be so much more stable and grounded and secure in the future you'll be making your money your pentacles abundance growth expansion smart analytical be practical telling you to be smart analytical practical make wise decisions also so what else for the advice here for uh gemini the two wands so again making those plans you know this is fiery uh energy again so making those plans decisions moving forward for your future as you go from one world to another world here but make sure you're being smart and practical so what else here what else here i feel like it's a new project or it's a new creative idea it's like going in a whole new direction, maybe something you've never done before, or maybe something you've always wanted to do. It's always been in the back of your head, back of your mind. I would love to do this, this, or that, but you've just never done it. But now it's like somebody else maybe coming in and saying, hey, I like that idea. Let's do it together. You know, let's try it out. So let's see what your possible outcome, the Six of Cups. So again, and <laughs> the Six of Cups energy is about things of the past. Things of the past, memories, nostalgia. So, and I had just said something you felt like you wanted to do for a very long time, maybe since childhood, with the Six of Cups energy here. You could have even done this in a past life, whatever here. It could be relationships from a past life. It could be something you've done in a past life or something you wanted to do since childhood. And now it's like you're finally doing it. Wow, so let's get a couple more here for your possible outcome for Gemini, the moon. So in there, and I had said Pisces energy. So again, um, the moon can mean you know, not seeing clearly or things coming to light, listening to your intuition. Um, so you may not be seeing things clearly, like sure, like you know, okay, ready to jump in, take this leap, let's give it a try, let's do this. But still not clear, is this going to work? You know, will this uh, work out in the long run? Not seeing the path clearly, you know, you know, will there be light at the end of the tunnel? Will this, you know, all pan out? It's like you just don't know with that moon energy. But, you know, just listen to your intuition. You know, I think you will. Following, you know, what something you've wanted to do, Six of Cups, for a very long time. So, oh, I forgot to get us one over here for your advice. So let's get one more. Your advice was um, making smart, pla practical plans for the future of walking away from, I feel, things no longer serving you. Eight of Wands, yeah. So that's action, travel, communication, fast movement, and taking action. Yeah, taking action and leaving things no longer serving you and being much more stable, grounded, practical, smart, analytical. But your outcome here, Six of Cups with the Moon, not quite sure. Even though you're following, you know, your heart's desire, your path, you're not sure how it will go in the end. 
two of swords. So yeah, being maybe being indecisive about some things. I feel like, you know, you're doing this, which you've always wanted to do with the two of swords and the moon. It's like, uh, I don't know how this is going to work, how it's going to work out. Um, you know, two of swords about needing to make decisions can be about indecisiveness. So maybe you may have, you know, thoughts in the back of your head. Maybe I shouldn't do this. Maybe it's not a good idea. But in the long run, I see, I see you jumping in. Maybe that's why you're stuck here between two worlds because you can't make that decision to just leap and go for it. But it's telling you here to do it. So, right. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we have judgment. So yeah, making that final decision. I had just said that with the two of swords. You may have been stuck for a while. Do I do this or do I stay where I am? What if it's not a good idea? So, you know, and this can be resurrection of things of the past. So again, I feel like it's an idea or something you've been wanting to do for a very long time. So finally making that judgment call. And then moving forward, a lot of drive, passion, ambition kind of energy, fiery, passionate. Seven of Cups, you know, weighing out the pros and cons, making decisions, options about the whole situation. Again, with listening to your gut and your intuition with the High Priestess. Um, you know, it's all about to keeping secrets to yourself. So maybe you're not really telling anybody. I don't know if the initials uh, B and J mean anything to you, but um, maybe you're not telling anybody about your plans moving forward, kind of keeping it to yourself. But there's that Pisces energy again. So we got the devil here with toxic energy and the nine of wands, you know, being that won't do worry, but you keep fighting on. So, you know, that could be past energy, whatever situation you're in now or whatever situation you're getting out of could be with the three of swords. There was a lot of toxic energy as with the seven of swords. And now, you know, you've been through it, you fought, you fought, and now, you know, you're moving on from that toxic energy because here's that message coming in with the page of wands, good news coming in. And here's the fire sign right in the middle of your spread. So you could be getting a message from a fire sign that's going to help to jumpstart all this for some of you. And there's your truth, clarity, brand new beginning, uh, success, victory, and clarity with that Ace of Swords. So that victorious new beginning is coming in for you. And it's going to start with some good news or an offer coming in from a very fiery, passionate person, getting over uh, this toxic energy you've battled for a very long time, listening to your gut, your intuition, keeping things to yourself, you know, weighing out all your pros and cons, looking at options, decisions. But moving forward, a lot of drive, passion, ambition, and making that final judgment call on this whole situation. Wow. So we have Scorpio, we have Leo Sag Aries, Cancer Pisces, Capricorn, um, Leo Sag Aries, Aquarius. Uh, let's see here. Um, Cancer Pisces. Uh, let's see. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Just trying to remember what cards I have here. Uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces there. Aquarius there with the full energy. Um, Sagittarius, Leo, Sag, Aries. Gem, um, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. We got a lot of signs here. I mean, this could be any signs that may not mean anything, but I know people like to hear the signs. So I figured I would just do that. Could be signs in your chart. Also, people around you. All right, Gemini. So let's get some closing messages for you. Closing messages for you, <coughs> Gemini. Yeah, I'm getting a scratchy throat. So I feel like that message, message in a bottle here is coming in for you. Something faded, destined for you, living out your destiny, your dream. Wow. So I do ask Gemini, if you like how I read, please do like, share, subscribe, comment, hit the bell. You won't miss out. As I said, I do a variety of readings uh, every month so if you hit the bell you won't miss out and if you do thank you so much and thank you to everybody who supported the channel whether you've tipped or you've donated or sent a gift or reached out for personal reading thank you thank you i couldn't do it without you guys so let's see let's get one more okay let's see what your messages are here closing messages mending bridges i heal rifts i am a mem uh, mender so I feel like here, maybe whatever situation you're leaving, um, you may just need to mend those bridges, uh, you know, forgiveness, healing. I mean, we did have a lot of healing energy here. So, you know, maybe just need 
forgiveness, healing, um, closure into any situations that you're leaving, whether it's a job, a career, a relationship, a situation. Could be anything for you here. For some for you, it could be a love situation. Returning maybe to someone from the past and that message comes in. For some of you, I feel like you're going on like a new creative journey. All right. So we have hearing messages from spirit. I am a clear channel for messages from spirit. So some of you may be, um, there could be the messages in a bottle here. Like being divinely guided as with the moon energy also in the star. Being divinely guided to follow your path, your intuition um, about this. And embracing the future. I step into the future with an open heart. So embracing this change, embracing the future. I think you may be stuck about it for a while, but I think you're going to get over that. And you're just going to jump right in. But I do see success here. So something meant for you. Giving birth, I am a, I am bringing forth new and dynamic energy to the world. Exactly. So some of you are giving birth to a whole new creative idea. That's what I feel for some of you. It could be something in the spiritual realm. It may not be. It may be just something you've been uh, wanting to do for like forever and now you're finally doing it and you may be getting help or, um, uh, you know, doing it with other people, collaborating with other people, I feel. Wow, Gemini. Okay, Gemini, uh, best of luck to you and I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel is to always, always shine your light.